Guys, Alex P Performance Reviews, welcome to another vlog and welcome to uh, Tibbenham Airfield at a Terminal Velocity uh, event. So yeah, I'm here, um, not running a car, I was meant to be running the Supra. You probably would have, if you've been watching my videos, you'd have seen that I said that I was going to run my Supra. Unfortunately, it's not quite ready. Um, Remain is out of the country, so I'm blaming him. No, it's not really his fault, but he is out of the country. So um, just not enough time to map the car and get the car ready in time. Um, it's all good. Um, I, it's good for me to have a recce because I'm just going to have a little look and see what the surface is like. It's not perfect. Um, it's not terrible either. So I'm just going to keep asking big power rear wheel drive cars uh, what their opinion is on the, the surface. Um, but yeah, there's um, that BMW in the background, not that one there, the blue one, just what I'm pointing to there. I'll get you a, a video around it. It's currently winning with 167. I think it's um, 740 horsepower on a really harsh dyno. So it's a powerful car. Probably on a harsh dyno, it'd be, um, uh, sorry, on a, on a generous dyno, it'd be an 800 horsepower car, which a lot of um, uh, car um, guys uh, use generous, I call generous dynos at the moment. So dyno jet kind of dynos and dyno pack dynos, um, which tend to make a lot more power. But um, yeah, some, there's all kinds of weird and wonderful cars. Um, Hopes RS there, GTRs, there's always GTRs, although there's not many today. Um, big power diesel cars, um, I don't know what's in that, but there's always something interesting. So I'll try and have a little look around the pits and the paddocks and see what else is about. Um, but yeah, some awesome cars. Um, there's always going to be some good action, so let me get you some. And here's the organizer map.
Yeah, um, just over halfway um, uh, through the day, and you're just in the blue BMW. Um, it's a BMW M3, um, and that is currently the quickest car of the day. I suspect it's going to win. It's got 169 miles an hour and a half mile, which is seriously good, seriously good. I think it was a legal run as well. Just to let you know, um, what happens is you stage, you, you come up alongside each other, and in an ideal world, I've seen kind of uh, American kind of uh, people doing the uh, half mile in the States. What happens is you want to kind of both, both cars set off at roughly exactly the same time, and they gently roll at about 40 miles an hour each basically stay at roughly 40 miles an hour each if they go faster than 40 miles an hour obviously they get it's a, a, a false run or a false start um, so you both aim to do 40 miles an hour and as soon as you uh, get to a, another uh, set of cones you punch roll from 40 miles an hour and um, yeah keep going keep it pinned all the way up to the half mile and then you'll get your half mile speed and that is how it basically runs so 169 mile an hour rest assured just to let you know is a really quick time so that car is um, I think making 740 on its high boost which is basically what it was just running and um, that is quick um, I don't think there's many cars here today that will probably touch that um, GTR was nowhere near it just then and uh, yeah 169 is serious it takes a fair old car to get 169 mile an hour so really good um, I'll see if any, we'll see um, throughout the day if anything else can beat it beat it and I'll just quickly show you the times um, on the uh, leaderboard I suppose of all the cars unfortunately there's no names um, or uh, identification on the side of the um, cars at the moment but they'll probably tell you that later I'll try and find out for you and maybe name them in the bio so keep an eye on or look in the bio um, for that and I'll try and give you that but let me go and uh, quickly see the uh, results sheet and tables for you now Chilling, just chilling. <laughs> I love an S2000. Cool car. Always got to have some Porsches. Now you're going for a run. Ricky run. Boys are just sitting in the bike. Um, these guys are from Ipswich, so kind of fairly local to me. Mr. P's racing, Extreme Racing, Team Extreme. Um, Gary Goodin and Mark Mosley and the guys. Um, Gary um, Goodin has got a mental drag super, absolute epic piece of machinery. Um, huge power. I think it's 16, 1500 wheel um, with serious drags set up. So, but yeah, there's loads of nice cars here. Not all of them are running. A few of them run earlier on. So sorry if I haven't got all the runs. Lovely RS3 with a Maxton design front lip, looking good. Gotta love an RS3, always look good. Pretty cool. Always gotta love an R32 GTR as well. It's looking nice. And look at this, old school drift wagon. It's nice. Oh, Sylvie, Sylvie, Sylvia, even. <laughs> Get it right. Looking good. That's nice and clean. Well, kind of. There's obviously dirt there, but looks good. 
by one. Forest three looks good from behind as well. Nice. Oh, big old LS400 cruising wagon. It's quite nice. Different, old, but looks good. Our buff, old Civic Coupe. Bocanegra, not many of them about these days, they're quite getting quite rare. Little S1, slammed wagon. Always some interesting cars here. Love a Monaro, great car. That's about it, but so there's not like crazy amounts of cars here, but Definitely some good quality, so yeah, really, really good. It will. <laughs> I don't think you've got the memo how you run. What's that thing? So yeah, we're coming up to the pretty much the end of the event as um, we expected. The BMW M3 were tu very tuned, um, pure turbos M3. Yeah, with 740 horsepower on a harsh dyno. Won the event. Lovely R8 coming in. Beautiful. Other cars coming in have just uh, finished their runs. It's all right. Got another Cosworth, looking good. Sounds nice as well. Almost getting run over. <laughs> Let some of the other cars come past. But yeah, um, yeah, just thought I'd um, give you a quick uh, end piece to camera. Obviously, it's been short, but I just wanted to give you a few details. So, um, links in the bio to everything. Um, if you are interested in coming, I'll give you a link to the Terminal Velocity uh, website down in the description, down in the bio, um, how you can get involved. Um, I think it's 145 for the whole day. I mean, the way they get you through safely um, and the amount of runs you get on a, on a, um, a half mile uh, event like this is crazy. Um, you're easy probably going to get between 10 and 20 runs depending on how hardcore and how quick you want to get yourself back in the line letting your car cool down or not cool down whatever you want to do. Um, you can get so much value for your money um, at an event like this so obviously there are other events that are similar but there are a lot more money to run at. So. Um, like I say, links in the bio to Terminal Velocity. Um, it's great to support a local, um, a local um, uh, half mile, a local event. I think that's currently winning the whole uh, top leaderboard at 172. Um, but the BMW had got really, really close to it as well, so it's really, really good. But yeah, um, like I say, that is um, the end of the day. Um, been really really good and um yeah thank you so much for watching guys as always like share comment subscribe and see you again in the next one bye for now